This is a Caravelle New York woman's women's women's <laughs> women's watch. And anyone who knows about watches when I see a band like this those center links tell the story for me. I'm like they're hollow it's just like a sheet of metal that they're putting over they're just wrapping it um or it's hollow it's cheap so th th for me this tells the story when i see this i'm just like garbage but that's just me so we're going to talk about this watch today caravel new york I'm just gonna say Caravelle because you don't really need to see say the New York part. And you can hear it. I don't know. If your watch sounds like that, or if you're gonna buy a watch and you're doing this in front of the person, like showing you the watch, you know, if it was like behind glass and you're kinda like, can I see that watch? And you do this in front of them. It sounds like that. <laughs> Do not, I mean, well, I mean, it depends on what you're shopping for, right? If you're looking for costume jewelry, go for it. But that's the sound of cheap bullshit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but yeah, she bought it because she liked it. I like the color. She liked the, the look of it, right? Again, costume jewelry. And you could tell the band inside. These are not, I say the... Yep, you can tell. The center links are not hollow. Uh, sorry, the center links are not solid. They are hollow, but the side, they might. Uh, looks like it's not solid either. Yeah, they're not solid either. So, this is the watch. It has a little stamping. Uh-huh. Does it say stainless steel? Yeah. It doesn't say China because they don't want to, you know, blurt out the obvious. And here's the back. It says, designed in New York by the Belova Corporation, Caravel, New York. Water resistant stainless steel. And it's just a pop back. You could just slip something in there and pop off the back this is a very cheap and you might we were surprised a few years ago to see these and like in mass I mean they're just like everywhere when you're searching for watches and she wanted to try one and we're like yeah my dad's always like Bulova 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 he likes Bulova and Bulova is a pretty decent they have a some pretty decent lines in their watches they, they have some pretty decent watches um um, they have some pretty decent watches. Below is pretty decent. But they made this line, I guess, like, you know, for people who don't want to pay. They, like, you know, they can make them cheap. And if you want to watch, but you don't want to pay, you know, a lot of money for it. Um, they have this Caravelle New York. And, and they, they look nice. It's a little on the, the huskier side for, like, women. They're, they're going to be a little bigger than a normal like woman's watch that you might be used to because they're a little bit smaller than men's watches like here's mine obviously it's a men's wa man's watch but there's some men's watches that are about this size this is what i'm trying to you know the message i'm trying to get get out there but like some of her watches like is like a woman's watch they're like smaller right a little bit smaller but I brought this one because this is her Bulova okay and this Bulova is actually a kick-ass Bulova and we did we do a video just on this yeah. before okay solid links all the way around nice quality And 
And you can hear it. They're solid. You like that? Yeah. <laughs> they're solid links. Okay. And this is automatic. This, obviously, that one's not automatic, the Caravelle. It's not an automatic watch. Usually, if they're automatic, we will state, you know, okay, they are automatic. There's some weight to it. Now, this is a, and, and I know there's going to be people who are, like, experts that are, like, mm, well, that's not as, as, as good as this and as good as that. No. But this isn't an expensive watch. This is around 100 and how much something? Just Just say 150, okay? This is around 150. It's not an expensive watch, but this is quality. And I know some people are gonna say it's not as good as a Rolex. We're not trying to say that, okay? But you know, this is a this in my opinion, this is a fucking deal for what you get. This is quality all the way around. Quality stainless, solid links. I mean it's it's, it's great quality material, okay? And it, probably has great uh this says 21 21 joules what miota something i don't know i'm trying to read sorry but yeah this is a quality timepiece now again yes this is not on par with rolexes and stuff no but this, for a hundred and some dollars, this is like ultimate bang for your buck. I'm talking like bang, 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 okay? <laughs> and for like a woman's watch, right? This is great when you consider something like this. This, in my opinion, is like a $25 watch. If you're paying more for it, I mean... You know they're taking, they're, you know they're they're taking you, you know, because this is this is this is cheap. This is okay. <laughs> it's like tin can shit. You know it's it's this isn't good. <laughs> but yeah, but you see this is <laughs> here's the thing. This is this is a citizen though. And you see, it has chronos as well, but the, the, this is this is quality compared to that. You know, eh, 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 eh. no, no, bad. I'm just saying, this one is a very yes. This is Bulova. This is the mommy company giving birth to shitty watches. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so these, these suck, but like I said, if you're in the market, you're like, you know what, I want to watch that I can pair with, you know, this outfit, these outfits, this type of dress, uh, the clothes that I wear, um, okay, fine, if you're looking to pair it with some stuff in your wardrobe, and you're just wanting a watch, because you like the look, it completes your look, whatever, fine. But if you're looking something that's just quality, it's going to last a long time, and you, you want a watch, a good watch, that's going to be this sucker. That's this one. But I would say, you know, 30 bucks max, you know, it's you're, you're, if you're paying $45, $50 for it, you're, you know... They're taking advantage of you. This is this is a this is not good quality on the watches. Um, this is just like for like, hey, I want to watch, and I don't really care, you know. But that's that's if you really don't care about that. If you're if you are spending forty five fifty bucks on it, if you don't really care about money at all, you're just like I don't care where this forty five or fifty dollars goes. I'll wipe my ass with this forty five fifty dollars. Then fine, buy this watch. It's <laughs> the same as wiping your ass. But instead, you can save up money and look for something on you know part of this of their line of like watches like this. And go with Bulova, not Caravelle. 
and and you can really get your money's worth and if you decide one day you don't want it and you're like okay I'm gonna sell it or give it to somebody they'll really appreciate it or you get more money for it and, and, and it will last if you're like I'm just gonna keep it but okay if anyone has seen these at the store and this it, like shit. it does it does look bad because I wiped it with alcohol so it pulled off some of the color so you can kind of tell it looks like I found this like in a bunker <laughs> like, and they put it there like 50 years ago or some shit but this Ulza Prince Polio Polo Prince Polo sorry <laughs> Yeah, we always, like, fuck around and when we call it that. Um, but I don't know if that's how they pronounce it. I think this is going to be from in your Polish foods. Yeah. And this is, uh, yeah, dark chocolate confection. This is really good. If you like wafers, these are good. And these are, if you go to, if you shop at, like, I don't know if Albertsons is, is the exact same as Jewel as far as, like, what they have and inside, like, the stores. Because Albertsons is, like, I guess the parent company. And Jewel, Jewel Asco is, like, what we have around here. Um, as I said, I wiped it with alcohol, and that's a freaking mistake. But um, this is a Polish treat. And th these are good. These are, these are... Are you going to open it? No, I'm not going to open it. <laughs> yeah, these are around These are around 70 cents They have bigger sizes But I don't know, they stopped carrying them Those are around a dollar I think they have bigger sizes And they're around a dollar Yeah, they do, right? What the hell, they stopped selling those And I, you know The, the kind of guy I am I'm the kind of guy that goes into the store and I'll go down every fucking aisle of that store. And if I see something, it's like, I don't, I've never seen it before. I don't know what it is. I'm curious. I'm going to buy the shit. And a lot of times that backfires. A lot. I remember we bought this, these Indian, uh, a, a sack of Indian little, like, mm -hmm. I, yeah, I don't know what they were, but... Like, from India. And they, they didn't say anywhere on that bag that these were, like, hot. I mean, when I say hot, when I say spicy, I mean, damn. They were hot. They didn't say anywhere on the bag that it was hot. And it wasn't, like, in, in a different language. You know, they're from India. It wasn't like that. Nowhere on there did it say this shit's going to melt your tongue. But this shit was hot. They were hot. That backfired. No one wanted to touch them. And I ended up eating as many as I could. And I think I threw some away because I was like, you know, this is torture. And it wasn't even a good flavor in my opinion. But you see, these I tried. And yeah, these, my wife inhales these damn things. <laughs> I mean, this is like her snack. We get up in the morning. Sometimes, like, she needs a snack because she gets, like, moody, like, when she's, like, cooking. And she'll eat this in, like, three bites. She's small, but, <laughs> I mean, she will take this sucker out in, like, three bites. <laughs> <laughs> she likes wafers so this is good and then the, pairing with the with the dark chocolate but yeah if you have an international food section try to look where the uh, polish uh, section is they have a lot of good stuff i buy like a lot of teas from uh poland stuff like that yeah Pol poland you know they have a lot of good stuff and this is this is a great candy right here um but yeah, we were talking about the watches. So, <laughs> but in case you guys, you know, this is, you know, by the way, classic right there. Just so you guys know. And and yeah, these are these are her watches. These are uh like kind of like her style. Obviously, she has uh, you know, different tastes and 
you know, some most of the time she's looking for stuff like this. And and she did mention before, and she tried to mention it, and I'll tell the story really quick. <laughs> uh, yeah, really quick. Do I do anything really quick? Um. So we went to the mall once. It's Woodfield Mall. It's a really big mall. Um, sorry, it's not really big. But she's saying Woodfield. I don't believe it was Woodfield because I don't think I would ever drive all the way the fuck to Woodfield. We drive one time. Okay, so she's full of shit. So anyway. Ow! <laughs> so <laughs> anyway, it was at a mall. We popped in because yeah. we, were, we were in the neighborhood, right? So popped in and I'm like, they have a Tissot store over there. So uh, watches, um, <laughs> and this this sales lady really didn't know what she was getting into when she tried to reel us in. Now they had a watch like this, but their links were too like circular. They were like the, they were too circular. They were too round. It just it, I guess like she just didn't like the look. They were too clean cut circles, you know, circular band, uh, links. And uh, I, I told her, like, she's looking for something like this. Like, that's her style. She likes, like, something like this. And she's like, oh, okay. So she pulled that one out, and she thought, like, I got this sale. And it's, like, maybe uh, around $300 watch. And I was okay with it. I said, maybe we can get it. Why not? And my wife's like, mm. And then, like, it took a long time just to get up to that point, right? So afterwards, like, you could tell the lady's like, well, I'm, I'm not sure what she wants. Like, she's getting pissed off at this point. And she's like, well, I mean, this is, this is, well, it wasn't this watch. This is as close as we could get to something like this. I, I'm not really sure what she's looking for, if that's the case. And like, she even tried to pass this to someone else. <laughs> it was hilarious because I'm like, we made a mistake letting them catch up catch us you know like when you're like trying to look at stuff at the store it's behind glass and then they have this the, you know the people there that are kind of like sales people or they are sales people in a way i guess they work off commission and they you're like okay we're gonna look because they're on the other side or they're with another customer so we're gonna look really really quick but you you stay like one or two seconds too long and they're just like hey how can i help you and they catch you we're like fuck <laughs> and i knew it was gonna be a mistake because my wife this was years ago and and it still holds true kind of today but you know i'm you know i'm i'm working her down a little bit but because i knew my wife's like a cheap ass and she's not gonna want anything from this place because to so is a little more expensive and at this time you know these were kind of like you know, the, this was like her her version of expensive. <laughs> so, or I should say this. And, uh, yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> now she's wearing a rattle watch, so she's like, you know, talking shit. <laughs> but I knew it was going to be a mistake. And I feel like I should have told her, like, I should have had a little bit of, like, sympathy. And, I, like, I should have been nice and kind of just, like, you know, saved her from that misery of trying. Like, I knew she was not going to be able to make a sale. And I could have stopped it at the very start and just told her, like, look, my wife's a cheap ass. Don't even bother. I know you might be a fantastic sales lady. It's not going to work. I don't give a shit what you tell her. It's not. Aside from giving her a fucking free watch with that, you're not going to fucking get her to buy anything. Sorry. But it's, it's not. Fault. Huh? It's her fault. <laughs> it's her fault. But, like, I'm not like that. I'm not a rude kind of guy. Like, I'll listen to your spiel most of the time. You know, but I'm not going to just, like, interrupt her or just tell her, like, look, I'm going to give you the real deal. Like, this is life. You know, you're wasting your time with us. Some sh some shit like that. No. But, uh, yeah, it was hilarious because 
after a time. How about this one? And this one? <laughs> this one's a very nice. There's so many people like this style. What about this? You want to try this on? Like, she went through, like, every wash that they had. I mean, I was surprised she didn't go to, like, another store. Like, hold on, I'll be right back. Like, <laughs> she was trying so hard to sell us on something. And, like, yeah, that, that was that to sew watch. And maybe you could put an image in there of, of what, because you know that watch already, of what she was trying to get her to buy. She's like, well, if it's not this, like, I don't know. If we have anything else, you know, that, that, this is, the like, the best I can do. <laughs> like, she was already getting kind of, like, <laughs> aggravated. But, I mean, hey. She called someone else to her. Yeah, she tried to pass this on to another person. And they're like, well, I'm an expert. <laughs> you know, and I'm just like, you are fucking <laughs> not as pro as you think, motherfucker. Because, again, you're not getting our money. <laughs> you know, my wife has, like, a death grip. On that money. You know, that, that shit ain't going anywhere most of the time. So, yeah. That was hilarious. Right now, like, uh, I know you guys have, pro have probably experienced, like, walking through a store and they have these little salespeople from, like, Comcast or Sprint or T-Mobile. They have, like, a little, like, booth set up and they're... Hey, how you doing? Can I talk to you for a minute? You know, like, what what cable provider do you have? Something like that. Like, where do you get your TV internet from? It's, it's so astoundingly annoying. Like, you're, uh, this fucking pisses me off. I mean, I, you have no fucking idea. I mean, I'm sure a lot of people are like this. You're in a store. I, if you're alone, maybe. But... You're in a store, you're walking, right? You're walking with purpose. You're not just strolling around smelling the fucking roses, right? You're walking with the purpose, usually. For, well, us, usually. And then they stop you. What pisses me off more is, like, I have functional eyes right now. They're fucking working. I see you. I'm not going up to you, so piss the fuck off, you know? Yeah. But what makes this whole thing worse is when you're with another person or with other people and you're in an active conversation it's ongoing you know you're not even like one to take a long pause to like catch a breath or something you're in an active it's it's ongoing and it's like hey how you guys doing tonight it's like do i fucking know you back the fuck off and what makes it worse is when that motherfucker was just chewing on some Doritos or something and he comes and, like, blasts you in the face with that shit. You know? Yeah. It's like, oh, I hate that shit. I hate that shit so fucking much to the point now where, and, and it's been, like, for a while. <laughs> and what's funny, <laughs> my wife didn't like it so much when I did it the first time, first couple times. <laughs> But when my mom, she doesn't go shopping with us often, but when she went shopping with us once, and I did this shit in front of her, <laughs> she got, like, so mad. <laughs> she was, like, she felt, like, so sorry for the guy. She was, like, offended herself, like I said it to her. So we're walking in, and he's like, hey, can I speak to you guys? <laughs> I can't even do it. She's, she's so fucking... <laughs> Hey, can I talk to you guys for a minute? I'm like, I just put my hand out. I'm like, no, no, thank you. <laughs> and I stopped him from getting out that whole sentence. Hey, can I just make I'm like, no, no, we're all right, thanks. <laughs> and we and I just kept walking with my purpose in that fucking store, right? Not to sit there and talk to the fucking Comcast salesperson or that's the sprint you know, wireless, whatever the hell, salesperson. No. I came in here for, what, fucking toilet paper and, like, cooking oil or some shit like that. You know, I didn't come for that. If I did, I, I have my eyes. They fucking work for now. You know, if I, if I need you, I'll go up to you. I know where the fuck you are, man. <laughs> like, you know, and my mom's like, oh, Junior. <laughs> like, she got so mad at me. I was like, I was like, the guy heard too like he heard this conversation going on with my mom <laughs> and I was like what <laughs> I was like 
hey, I didn't ask him to come up to me. Like, <laughs> like I'm not here for that shit. I got something else to shop for. Yeah. I'm trying to save him the time. I'm doing him a favor. While he's trying to get us, when I know I'm not going to do business with him, he could have been helping someone else. Right? There you go. I'm trying to help him. So, that's what I do. I, I remember, too, we did it at Walmart. Now, I wasn't in the mood because we went to the store. My stomach was already hurting. And we tried to make it to the store. And then I'm like, you know what? We need to leave. My stomach hurts. I want to go home. And so my wife's like, okay, fine. So we start walking out of the store. And, of course, I'm like a moody little bitch because I'm like, eh, see, I told you. Like, we shouldn't have came here like, because of my stomach. Like, I started, like, being a little moody bitch about it. And then she's like, okay, let's just go real quick. And we went and we started, like, walking out of the store. And there's this guy at Walmart trying to, like, you know, he's like, hey, how are you guys? Can I speak to you for a minute? And I just put my hand out like this and I stopped him and I shook my head, nah. And I just kept. I didn't say nah. I just did like this and I shook my head no and I just kept walking real fast. And I heard him. He's like, fuck you then. He said something like that. I, like, I wanted to laugh. I'm like, you know, that that's that's perfectly fine. I'm, I'm perfectly fine with it. That's cool. If you want to, you know, be like that. If you're thinking, well, look at how you are. Again, motherfucker, I didn't tell you to come up to me. I'm not asking <laughs> for your fucking help with anything i see what you're selling am not fucking interested so you know you can fuck yourself all the way home i don't care so he wants to react like that fine i laugh because it ain't my problem and i'm not gonna feel sorry about it and you're attitude towards me afterwards just makes me laugh because in a way that's what you fucking get like <laughs> sorry to tell you if i'm not interested i'm not gonna fucking hear it mm -hmm. and i didn't ask you i'm at a store shopping okay if i <laughs> that it comcast or sprint or whatever isn't on the store okay they don't have a fucking big banner outside saying like, hey, you know, Cricket Wireless is in the house, you know, some shit like that. So that's not why I'm there, motherfucker. I'm not there for you. So it's no, you know, hair off my ass that like, oh, well, I hurt this guy's feelings. No. You tried to stop people that obviously had other shit going on. And they hit, I wasn't like, hey, you, you could say, okay, it's kind of rude. Fine. But again, I didn't ask you to talk to me, bitch. So <laughs> that's just how it is. That's your game. That's the business that you're in. That's the business that you chose. Oh, well, what if they need that job? Hey, they can fucking answer phones at a pizza place. You know, there's plenty of other jobs. I don't give a shit. Okay, you want to be in sales, you better harden up that fucking, that, that fucking armor, that skin, because, you know, people aren't fucking nice. He might be used to a lot of people like fucking kissing his ass and be like, oh yeah, sure, I'll give you, a I'm not going to bullshit you like that. I'm not going to say, I'll give you a call or, you know, whatever. No, I'm sorry. I'm saving you the fucking time. I'm sorry that I'm not going to waste my fucking time. No, that's just the way it is. But that was fucking hilarious, you know? <laughs> Having an attitude with me that you're inserting yourself into my fucking business or life when I didn't ask you to, you know? I have no need for you. If I did, I would have stopped. I see you, <laughs> you know? <Yeah>. Sorry. <laughs> I'll say it like my mom, excuse me. <laughs> But yeah, those are just some, some little stories to add on to this video. So yeah, we do a lot of other videos and we, I don't like to do just like a boring ass, like short little cut, like, okay, we're just going to review this watch and oh, look at the hands, the way they tick and then blah, 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 blah. And no, we don't do shit like that. So these are, most of our videos are like this. 
if you're interested and, you know, have fun, I guess. Um, but thanks for watching. If you did, take care.